Shalom, la bachayayim, shalom, yasha'ala, peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel, consisting of the 144,000, hanabayayim, the prophets, hara'ashim, the heads of the governing body, the house of David, eshal mashal, which is ruled by hamalakwath in the kingdom, by shemayim, in heaven, wa aratza, in earth. And of course, shalom to the rest of the one third, which are no prophets, but are women, women, and children, believers. Whom the Lord will have chassad or mercy uh, ill upon uh, by ith in these times that we're in. And of course, um, shalom to the Israelite foreigners whom are likened onto the speckled bird that may look like the heathen, but their lineage go back to our forefathers being Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which makes them Israelites. All right, and this, of course, we try the spirit by the spirit, whether they are power and our spirit bear witness with. Our spirit that we are the children of power Roughly paraphrasing these scriptures um, Of course from John 4 and 1 if I'm not mistaken And also the book of Romans 8 and 16 Alright um, Of course I want to give All praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai Ba'ashem Rechakodash And of course uh, Giving double honors to the apostles and the elders A great millstone well And peace and salutation of course as always A card to the elect Alright it can never be enough uh, we need it in these times. So, Shmi Mafa, my name is Amafa. My young God, Wabla Cub from the Great Millstone Camp. Makana, which is a uh, yeah, camp, Great Millstone. By a yard in the city of Philadelphia. I'm coming. I'm with a Lamadia Ma'it, which is a lesson little. Okay, so this originally posted by uh, one of the Ak. Uh, I'm going to actually pull it up. Ak, um, Hawashai Zayan from the Great Millstone PA Camp. Which uh, brought me to, of course, look into this a wee bit um, on my own. And uh, you have it here with um, the whole civil uh, or uprisings. All these different uprisings amongst the people. These uproars of the people. Which is prophesied to happen. Uh, you have uh, this guy, George Floyd. Which is a Jake. Who actually, uh, he actually uh, put to death via neon neck all right it wasn't a neon belly uh, which uh if you know anything about brazilian jiu-jitsu or gracie jiu-jitsu there's a technique uh called uh neon belly and um you know basically a person to put their knee on their your uh well when you train and you do they put it on the stomach but um really when you do it of course in, in a sense well not in a sense but you do it, say like for example, in the streets, it's done on a solar plexus. Now, there of course is a, uh, a even dirtier uh, technique, which is um, that knee on the on the neck. Which um, I mean, pretty much that's a great sign of disrespect. All right, um, and obviously we know E, the wicked of the Bible, whom are roaming here to earth, the the net, the new. Uh, they have no respect for uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. And, of course, uh, ultimately, it was a judgment from the Most High, Yahweh. All right. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So, uh, of course, you had a, a sinner got put to death. Uh, I didn't see him calling on the name of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. He was, of course, uh, at fault, doing wrong. All right. Uh, you know, whether he was, um, I believe it. If I'm not mistaken, he there was he was doing something with uh, forging or counterfeiting of some s nature of, s of some sort. Okay, um, I have to read it myself, but uh, he uh, you know got put to death. Simple as that. Neon and he, I mean, he the Lord made that man suffer because uh, uh, you know uh, knee on the neck. Come on, that's crazy. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna do my own little wee video on that. But you know, this is what it sparked these different protests that are going on. And as we know, us and I know, when you look into the whole Black Lives Matter, which we have no affiliation with, um, that is set up by, of course, E himself. Okay, when you look into it, okay, um, <clears throat> we know that uh, they do a deep deep search when they go about doing iniquity and such all right and of course they want to appear to be your friend but are it or not or isn't it at all 
now you have it here where there's a video that came to the surface of uh, a man which I'm gonna I may or may not play the video I'm more so into the information you can can and Aquathium or Aquath or you sisters out there that watch the videos I have the, the links in this description box so you can always watch the videos on your own okay the point you know my video is just to edify bring out the point and that's it okay so you have this man who and here I believe the how Zayan, also known on YouTube handle as Shalom Israel 777 um, had this post about um, leave off of social media that the man was identified that's going about as a rumor in, on social media as this guy named Jacob Peterson uh, of the St. Paul Police Department um, I'm assuming that's in Minneapolis as well but so then um, like you see when you see in this video that I believe you can see it this link off of heavy.com uh, is a man here and he was uh, he was seen uh, which we gonna play some of it right now I'm on. he was seen just on the scene just uh, coming about s smashing Wendy's or windows and such And then, as you see, a, a Jake in a pink shirt, shirt of course, um, and it, with probably dreadlocks in his heat, heat but uh, he ended up confronting him. And it, and it looks very strange. I must know a uh, guy with a umbrella and a uh, gas mask, and I mean, a bl he's wearing all black. I mean, he has definitely uh, something to hide. All right, definitely up to darkness. So they, I believe they were sing, signaling like, yeah, the action's over there. What, you know, what are you doing over here? I'm, I'm, I in. I'll, I'll do my and that was an auto zone, which is a uh, here in Babylon or Babylon. That's a um actual store where you buy uh, various auto parts and such, batteries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, and he fleed. He tried to flee. Uh, he, you know, he tried to flee. This dude, it's, it's funny because Jake got a uh, pizza. It looked like he got like a pizza pizza. Um, like a, what do they call that? Chick they call it like uh, Little Caesars. It's like a $5 box or something. That's what it appears to be. So you Jake out here struggling. <laughs> but anyway, going on. And I, be I believe the officer probably, you know, pretty much probably gave him a little threat. At least that's what it seems to be. And then the guy said, you want to go, but, um, oh, we going to continue. Somebody hold my blood. Hey, somebody hold my blood. And then, uh, of course, the guy didn't want to be on the video. Are you a fucking cop? What's up? They accused him of being a cop. Still a pursuit on video, and that pretty much should be the end of the video. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. And as you can hear, you can hear all the different um, destruction that's being done in the background. Now, uh, of course, it says here Jacob Peterson. This is in this article. Uh, which I end up basically googling the uh, guy's name, and this article came up. Is isn't it or is not the the AutoZone umbrella man, <laughs> uh, Saint Paul police, police? The police say so, but as the scriptures say, let me get these scriptures. Slack you. It's a good preset right there.
tells you here in, in, in uh, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha chapter 12 and 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. And we know E is our enemy. Um, clearly, I mean, there's various precepts you can uh, link E being the enemy of the nation of Israel, so-called Negro Latinos and the Americans. Uh, being the destroyer of this earth, the son of perdition, the workers of iniquity. Okay, uh, they hold all of these, they, the, the, the wicked themselves, okay. Uh, they hold all of these true black <laughs> uh, titles, okay. Identifying them, and it identifies them perfectly by their actions. I mean, mischief, I mean, they they doing up the mischief and stuff. Which, Lord will, I could just do a, a word search and see something like that. See if I can get something. Mischief. And you Israelites out there, you shouldn't be doing any, um, like, mischief with these people. Um, going out in the city and, and being riotous and such. That, that's all wickedness, alright? That's stupid, alright? Let me see here. See, I'm gonna get the other one. Mischief. Mischief by deceive. I don't know if I spelled that correct, but let's see. This is something to do to spirit. Right. So this is a great precept right here. It says here in the book of Psalms or the Hallium, which means songs, um, chapter 28 and 3. This is, uh, as it says, a psalm of Dawada. Okay. So our forefather Dawada, David, which is Peter, if you can receive it. Okay. Um, the head of the church had this psalm. Okay. In which I'm just going to, uh, Start with this first verse and then skip back to that third verse. It says, A psalm of Dawadah unto thee will I cry, O power, Yahweh, or O Yahweh. That's a, that's just Yahweh, the Most High's name. When you go back into the Hebrew, all right, in all caps, is that says, Lord, Yahweh is his name, okay? If you can understand, you have to understand he's a man of war, okay? It says, My rock. Be not silent to me, least if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit, yeah, into these traps, these snares, destruction, and that's why we want the Lord to hear our prayers, okay, to be no silent to us, to actually I not or answer us, okay, let's see, harash in the Hebrew for silent, which is, goes into, um, be not silent. Uh, to be dumb, you know, being able, not speaking, to be deaf. All right, simple as that. All right, to remain in silence. We want the Lord to hear us and answer our prayers. Okay, especially our cries for help. Izar, Izar, which that's me for help. La Shemai to hear. Now, continue on forward. It says here. In the third verse, um, and actually, I might just continue. It says Psalms twenty-eight and two. It says, "Hear my voice, hear the voice, like of my supplication." Was these prayers? Okay, when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards the ho thy ho holy oracle. Okay, which, of course, uh, we got the bar yeah. Uh, double yar, which words, holies of holies, the innermost most room of the tabernacle, a uh, hindermost chamber, innermost room of the temple of Solomon, the holies of holy, the oracle, and of course, um, we know that it's the priests that, um, of course, have the ability to communicate, uh, what. The Lord wants, all right, to the people, okay? Simple as that. The work, the Lord works with his, uh, his, uh, his, his, his priests, okay? That's why you're supposed to reverence them, 
That's why when we giving you this word and giving you these commandments, which is given by the inspiration of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you're all listen. This is always for your good. All right. You had, of course, Aaron. You had Moab Masha. All right. You had the sons of Aaron. Okay. The nation of Israel was, of course, to listen. All right. We, of course, gave up uh, various sacrifices. And then, of course, Yahweh Shai being that last sacrifice. Okay. The perfect sacrifice in which we believe in faith and showing our works that we will have salvation through his mercy. Okay. Now, anyway, continue on. It says, draw me not away with the wicked. Okay, so I don't want to be drawn away with the wicked because we know that the wicked, the Rishayim, they're going to be destroyed. Okay, the Lord is going to put out the condo of the wicked. All right. As you read in Job, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. And this is uh, very important that you uh, understand that. It says that they speak peace to their neighbors. Yeah, the wicked or our, 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 uh, twin brother, our wicked <laughs> twin brother being uh, E, okay, uh, which he, he came out red like a hairy garment, okay, black and metal and pigment, all right. Though, like I said, you have, it's a lot to go into with, uh, you can't judge off the outward appearance. But anyway, going on. You know, we go by the spirit. But anyway, um, it can be an indicator, though, just to let you know. But it says, which speak peace or shalom to their neighbors. Neighbor. Okay, so, they, yeah, they, they say, speak of the peace, but, you know, as you know, as the scriptures say, inwardly they are raving wolves and such. Okay? That's why you ought not to trust them. I'm going to go back to the Sirach. Sirach chapter uh, 10 Alright and again It says here though he humble himself 10 and 11 It says hey, go, go crouching Yet take good heed And beware of him Alright you gotta watch him And thou shalt be Unto him As if thou wipest a looking glass And thou shalt know that His rust hath not been altogether wiped away there Ain't no changing the wicked Okay E is E, all right. <laughs> it says, "Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place." All right. So I'm not gonna be joined on to this man, okay? Uh, Y'all going, um, you know, you got the, of course, E's out there, and these different perpetrating, and these uh different so-called protests. You got Jake, of course, too. I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of that. It tell you not to, as the scriptures say, follow not a multitude to do evil. And you're dead and evil there in the city. Um, of course, destroying, uh, defacing public property and setting uh, ash or fires, ashim. Um, of course, you're, um, you're, you're, you're having these different strife and contentions with these cops out there. I mean, you could easily get put to death out there, okay? Put you in harm's way of tear gas and all that things. That I mean, that's stupid, all right? That and, and plus, who 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 told you to do a, a protest in that fashion? All right, this is our the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, all right? They're spiritual, okay? And uh, we know the plot of the so-called, um, well, the wicked. I'm gonna just say it like that. They are the, the E's, all right? Adawam, okay? The wicked of the Bible. Esau, Edom. All right, so I'm, I'm not calling him what he want to be called, which is pure or weak. I mean, I'm going to call him exactly what Yahweh Shem Yashai call him, all right? Which is the devil, all right? And the wicked, all right? Satan, okay? Now, uh, going on, it says here, uh, let him not sit at thy right hand. Right, your right hand. At your right hand, that's where your power and authority lies and such. Okay? That good side. Least he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Right. You know, remember these words because 
you don't see that 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 damn serpent is gonna it's bite you all right as it goes on who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh a wild beast right yeah you go in there a wild beast which is isn't it domesticated it's wild it goes by instinct all right who gonna have pity on him like you should have known better right so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him with it in a sense who will pity all right uh, I'm just gonna skip down it says here um, the enemy an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips right we, we're gonna protest with this whole black lives matters you folk out there and they knowing that this whole movement is uh, pseudo the psyops and such okay just to play on your minds and such and bring forth a under uh what do you say a, a agenda okay a hidden agenda which we have the understanding of what it is and that is of course is the new world order being established fully okay and of course the devil knowing that he have a short time he knows that he can play off of your emotions play off of your rebellion to the most high how about shimmy i was shy because you don't believe in the lord you don't believe in your power you don't believe in following in obedience in obedience you instead choose disobedience to rebel to make war with the power the man of war himself so uh, of course e just gets you in the sorcery rock you to sleep have you of course going and being carnal which is uh enmity to the uh to power all right being carnally minded is mawath or death as it says in the scriptures uh continue for and it says here but he, an enemy sweet, speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, in his mind, he uh, imagineth how to throw thee, which he going to plot in his mind. All right. Imagine Khashab Wath or Khashab, which goes into the think. All right. How to throw thee into a pit. Another trap. All right. To a system. Which a lot of you, Jake, get caught in a system being in these prison houses and such. Why would you go out and um, do these stupid protests and such? But we know it's fulfilling biblical prophecy, but just letting you know that's not the way uh, that's going to bring change about in the earth. The prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, they're doing a major spiritual protest. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is hearing the elect cries, okay? And the Lord is on his return to deliver them, okay? The, the wickedness is at its all time height And the Lord is going to redeem His elect Alright and, and judge the two thirds of the nation of Israel Along with the wicked And the rest of the heathen Okay And it says here He will weep with his eyes But he If he find opportunity He will not be satisfied with Dom or duck blood Okay and that's right That's why you kindly Look at this man It says if adversity come Upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. Right. So, you know, you you see this man got put to death. Um, this whatever George Floyd guy got put to death by neon neck. First thing you got this whole movement of Black Lives Matters or whatever protests and and all this shit, which is bringing about confusion. All right, let's go on. This is uh, the book of Luke, chapter 21, and, uh, and um, 25. Uh, it says here that and there shall be signs in the Shamash, or the sun, and in the moon, and in the, in the stars, and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity and sea war. And this is some of the signs of Yahweh in the world, and he called Jesus Christ. His true name is Yahweh Shai Baha Bariath in the Hebrew, Baha Lashman Kodash, pronounced in the holy tongue, which is the Hebrew, the uh, Lashman Kodash, the pure tongue, the holy tongue. Okay, he gave us warnings. Okay, there shall be signs in the sun. All right, and you have these different eclipses, you got lunar eclipses, all right, solar eclipses, all right, and the stars, comets, all sorts of meteors, different things in the stars. 
okay and upon the earth the stress of nations and you see the different distress of the nations uh, via their actions via um, all of the different wickedness that he is doing okay it's uh, making these people uh, express their anguish all right their restraint anxiety distress straits okay you see that uh, and of course the people since all this wickedness is going about um, the people are you see they, they, they hit in the streets whether it's for unjust or just cause okay it says with perplex you just look I think the yellow best thing is back in Europe it says in the sea raves warring right you know and you have that too okay but um, the point being here is the complex the perplexity which the word perplexity when you go into it you have the Greek word here which is uh, operia let's see what this pronounced correctly is Strong's G 640 aparia aparia which is a state of one who is perplexed one who is perplexed is in a state of confusion let's just go into that real quick in Etamon online it says here perplexing me meaning bewilderment a doubt a certainty and that, that's exactly what uh, the people were in a state of uncertainty unknown especially with this COVID-19 uh, pandemic okay um, you have it where people are in doubt and bewildering it you know, like like a deer and caught in the heat lights and such it says here that also something that causes perplexity the intricate are involved of a state of confusion and E being a master witch, a sorcerer, he of course uh, is cast spells on you. All right, you Jake out there, and all the world out there. That's why y'all in gross darkness. Okay, but the Lord set them up to do that and gave him that power. Now, uh, back to this article. It said this is a, all due to spirit. I'm not. I'm not gonna really read this thing like that. Uh, as it says here. Um, they say that according to the police statement the social media falsehood happened to be Jacob Peterson a St. Paul police officer who erroneously accused of being mysterious black clad umbrella carrying man involved in a method, meth, um, method, methodical I believe that might be breaking, le breaking windows right which when you go into being methodical it's like very calculated and such know that from being in fighting and such if you, uh, you know the top fighters they're methodical systematic matter all right yes yeah, it's, or it's rarely it's fixed and ordered or all right and such okay breaking windows at and you you seen him with the little hammer and his heat hand and such hammer hand <laughs> just just knocking the windows out you know, the Wendy's and such. I was on during the protest riots in Minneapolis, St. Paul. All right, they mentioned the video. Have you asked the police uh, how the umbrella man is not Peterson? And they said that the officer had an alibi and checked out for day and time. All right, but well, can we see that? And we know about E with falsifying documents. And so he checked out. Well, uh, that doesn't mean that he wasn't there. Okay, we, we all know how these different um, government entities operate. Okay, just give me something to think about. I'm food for thought. I'm not you know, saying that this actually was the man, uh, but we know not to trust the man. All right, it says in the statement sent the heavy Steve Lenders, public information officer for the St. Paul Police department of course would you want them to have this bad PR on them to have an officer that actually went undercover and actually got caught breaking the windows and identified just something to think of it false social media posts the man is in the Peterson he stated although he didn't use Peterson's name it says the statement read it says, uh, I don't know what that is, but 
somebody in the background we are aware of the social media posts that erroneously identifies the officer of being caught breaking Wendy's in Minneapolis. We want to be perfectly clear about this. The person in the video is not our officer. Our officer was working hard serving the community. Right. Well, well, if he checked out serving the community, can he go on undercover and do this? <laughs> right. Serving your community. His community. All right. Whatever. Yeah, right. Keeping people, the property, safe. The protecting the right to the peaceable assembly. It's it's unfortunate that the people would post and share this untrue information, adding more confusion to the already painful time in our community. As an alibi, Linda's to heavy we were unable to verify where the officer was okay oh well where it says actually we were actually verify where the officer was and who he's with in fact he was working who like i say who says he's not working undercover doing this i mean yeah all right, i go to the office and check out all right you gotta do this all right anyway as a saint paul paul police officer Protecting people and property. And, I mean, yeah, they protecting people. You put you, you can put put, put y'all to death on on that, and that's pretty to protecting the community. We know that a lot of you jakes are root beasts anyway. But no, anyway, going on. Uh, many people shared the uh, accusation on social media, and then you can just go and read the rest on your own. All right, you got them here in this wee picture, um, and. Uh, you know, that's it. So, I mean, I pretty much done hit my point. Uh, I could get, like, another little preset. It probably, like, coming up more. scripture that speak about yeah, evil suspicion but um let me see if I can get it it's like Chirac I can just put an opinion and it'll come up okay so it tells you here in Chirac chapter 3 and 24 but I'm gonna start above or he and it says here Right, be not curious, this is Sirach chapter 3 and 23. It says, be not curious in unnecessary matters, and this is an unnecessary matter for you out there, okay? With you, uh, you Jake out, out there. Yeah, I mean, you're protesting some dude that literally was, was a thief, all right? I'm not saying that the dude should have, well... I mean, he got put to death, so that's the Lord's judgment. But, you know, we know E is wicked. But, don't be curious in unnecessary matters. A lot of you out there, you just get yourself in a lot of things that you shouldn't even be a part of. The scriptures talk about it. Mind your own business, basically. For more things are showed unto thee that men understand that going to the prophets. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion hath overthrown their judgment. Alright. It says, Without eyes thou shalt want light, which is truth. And no. Profess not the knowledge which thou hast not. Alright, and that's it. This is just basic wisdom, which is uh beautiful though. That that's powerful. Okay, so to save you from a lot of straits and trouble. Because you, Jake, about to be in a lot more of these things. So, I did want to hit this other precept in Psalms again. And it says here again, Draw me not away with the wicked, 
and with the workers of iniquity. And this would be what you could use this for the wicked being E or right here as the two thirds here. And then you can use that for G, for E right here, the workers of iniquity. With which speak peace to their neighbors, but in mischief that is in their hearts. That's right. And I want to just look into that word for mischief real quick, which is just evil, Rai in the Hebrew, which uh, just mean uh, evil, okay? Unhappy, which is just going to bad time, deeds and actions, generally a person's or thoughts, evil adversity, evil ethically. All right, whatever. So that's it. So that's the lesson. Hopefully you're edified uh, by it. Uh, just do the spirit. It's up to you. You know, whether you believe it's him or not. But we know E is wicked anyway. So that's the point. The point is not to trust our enemy. And not to be drawn away with the wicked or the worker of iniquity. With that, I want to say Shalom. Well, you have a Shem Yashab, Shem Kokodash. Shem Adapati Aita. Which I'm going to put up a, a curse. Um, a shock, which is continue, lashalak, mashapatim, which is judgment, all upon, or well, actually, I could say ill, which is upon Babylon, which is uh, America, wa all call, which is uh, going into two, all uh, rashayim, which is the wicked. Ease or the Wamium, uh, two thirds of Shal Yasha Allah, uh, Wa, uh, Ha Ayar, I what's that? I, I, yeah, Ayarium, which I'm talking about the cities. All right, Lord, to bring these cities to, to not to the Paulum, make them fall. Love Shah, love Shah, love Shah. Uh, the water to our mind. Alright, and that's it. So, Shalom. Till next time.